Yes, yes. I'm so excited to finally watch this game. Um, if you watched my last Larry Bird uh, versus MJ video, you know I was supposed to watch this. And I was scrolling on YouTube and I saw the video that we ended up watching. Um, and so I, I basically I got sidetracked. I was supposed I've been supposed to watch this and I ended up watching something else. And now I finally get to watch the battle between these two greats. Um, March 31st, 1991. Um, my brother was about to be born. That's funny. Um, a few days before my brother was born. Um, 71 points combined. We all know this is the end of Larry Bird in regards to his career. And we're heading into the prime of Michael Jordan. Larry has a bad back. People are even surprised that he's still playing. Um, so the fact that he not only kept up but won this game um, in incredible fashion. I just, I want to see it. I want to see the highlights. So, I'm not going to drag out this monologue. We're going to get straight into it. Let's go. They have won their division only once. That was back in 74, 75. A team of Jerry Sloan and Norm Van Leer and Bob Love, Chet Walker, Tom Barwinkle. However, their success will be measured by only one standard, that is making it out of the Eastern Conference to the NBA Finals. Don Casey, the assistant mentioned, we just haven't been running as much, therefore not getting as many open shots in transition. An open jumper for Jordan. Caught right. Jordan has had a number of big games against Lewis, and Lewis has also turned the trick on Jordan. Campbell opening up by hitting his first. I might as well give my own commentary. You can see the stiffness in Bird's back. If you really pay attention to how he's moving, you can see how stiff he is. Great fans, Bird. And the Bulls now lead 19-14. And Jordan got the ball out of his hands without putting it back on the ball. Start for Michael Jordan. Only one for four for two points. Here's Bird. The season, but he has been breaking out away from Chicago recently. Bird again. Too much space. <laughs> Grant better give it, baby. Or is that a... Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Are those the Maroon Sixes? That's hang time. Mike McGee was a man who played Jordan before. Uh, Paxson. Uh. He is honest. One thing he is, he's honest. Yes, he does uh, say what's, what's on his mind. Too much space. Why is Grant on him anyway? I know he's not mobile, a uh, bird, but I still wouldn't want Grant on him. A couple of the last uh, two games, including Boston, in uncharacteristic fashion. Here's George. That's crazy. That's crazy. Two Celtics back, Jordan going right at them. Too easy. Yes, and it counts. The way that man hang in the air and shoot at the top of his release is like, that's crazy. As they say, posterized. Now Bird going to work on Cliff Levingston who just checked in and made it look. That's too easy. That's too easy. Can y'all get can y'all get him off him? That is too easy. Now Pippen on him. It's a good fadeaway. Paxson. Uh. Can't leave him open. Not giving Bird any room. Bird was looking to step back. Oh. He was caught that time, so he took a shot and gambled. Came up with the steal. Here's Bird. Yes. Oh. He was met on a switch by a quick Jordan. release. There was no hesitation after the good start by Chicago here in the third. Here's Jordan swinging in. That's too, that's too easy. <laughs> that's too easy. Let's call him the Celtics 
rules for Michael Jordan. A little bit different than they played him in the past. As Larry, y'all explain it to me. Does that make sense? Again, I know Bird. He's in his final years. He's probably not running the baseline and moving around um, as much as he was in the '80s. But does that make sense to have Grant on him? Even in his slowest days, I wouldn't want Grant on Bird at all. I think Bird savviness, elusiveness, it's just too much for Grant. Like I, I wouldn't I, I don't like that matchup at all, but it seems like that was that was his defender, at least up to this point, at least in the first half. Like I think I would have kept Scotty on him. Like they just decided who's going to do the double teaming, where they're going to come from. Are they going to double all the time? Or tip in with the drive. That might have been a travel, but and the third, it looked like it, it looked two. legit. Jordan with a rare open shot. Because they're being very aggressive with him. The game is tied at 67. Parrish off the head fake. Oh, that's beautiful. 69, Chicago 67. Jordan eluding a triple team. <laughs> Like he, really he, was, <laughs> he just went against the whole team. Like everybody was around him just now. That was a great pass. Now Reggie Lewis up tight on Michael. Travel. And it's an offensive, or is it a travel? Let's see. Traveling violation. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's that's a travel. It was close. Great board, great finish. At one point, Celtics led by as many as seven. Jordan. Yes. Well, he has located the touch. He has 15. He is seven for 16. Jordan getting You know, inside. when you see where the game is now and the fact two, that it's pretty much three or dunk, like, there is no real like consistent shooter in mid-range except Jokic which I find to be hilarious the fact that he's back-to-back -back MVP um, but the mid-range shot is just such a, a, a dying uh, art I mean just having a nice mid-range shot having a Tim Duncan off the glass backboard shot and, but you know you see the 80s and that's damn near all you see you don't see too many threes like people just seeing the pull up it's just it's a beautiful thing it really is and I don't think anybody really mastered it the way Jordan and Bird and Kobe did in the second half and they are now matched which is most unusual here's Brown he's been on the defense, better offense. He said that was Mikhail. Yo, Scotty, look how much, look how much range Scotty covered in just two steps. Jordan knows that he can take any one defender. Look Four at that. Two, three, Four defenders. Still pretty tough. Too much space. Can y'all please get Grant off of Bird? Just look at that. That's beautiful. With it, but... Great pass. Great pass. What they're doing is keeping Jordan in the middle of the floor, trying to get the defense to collapse. Action. I lead that boy <laughs> That's too much space. I know you're trying to help on Jordan, but that's too much space. The move. The finish. Jesus. With the pure penetration. Here's Jordan giving it up. Pippen. Nice touch off the glass. Bird. Yes. Larry Bird 
I just don't get it. So Jordan with 27 and Bird with 25. Larry Bird with a terrific all-around performance. That's crazy. 25, 11, and 8. And this still looks like it's the first half. I know I do know this game went into overtime, but the first half, they both had 25 and 27 respectively. Bird having 25, 11, and 8. That's insane. I mean, that is a full game worth of highlights in the first half. 30 plus with a bad back. That's crazy. Off the double pop of Brown Grant. Last touch by the Celtics. Celtics were headed up the floor. The officials reach around. They still just get it back out on the side. Woo. Oh, look out, Jordan. Strangle. Oh, this is the fourth. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I don't know why I thought this was still the first half. It's a great defense. Just keep a body on him. Just keep a body on him. It's beautiful defense. He almost made it. Everyone held their breath. He almost made that. Went after was up on the top of the glass. From the foul line. Boston has been at the line only 12 times. Pippen with the step. Oh, great defense. Jordan was great defense. Oh, superb. They shoot 60%. Here's Jordan. He's had in overtime. 45 seconds to go in the overtime. Lewis put the step. Oh, great defense. Good hustle. Smart decision. Great shot. Everything about that was great. The defense. The transition. Finding the open man. Paxson was a bad boy. Finds Paxson trailing, knocks that out of three to tie the over to help. Bird is stopped. Bird recovers. Stopped again. And Cartwright able to get to it. That's a, cra That's a crazy double team. Scotty and Grant. I mean, the fact that he even got that shot off, like, is crazy. Like, just the wingspan of those two combined. That's crazy. He made that, bro. And Bird is fouled with one tenth of a second. As you see, Bird over his last eight, and Jordan over his last seven. One and one tenth second left. Yeah, you can tell the defensive and intensity really Bird picked up in, pass for the prayer, in the overtime. Down. Only D. Brown was in sight. Scotty Pippen. It's crazy. It's crazy. The fact that he made that is crazy. That ball is still in his hands. That red light is on right there. That's what you're looking for. If it's in his hands, then it has not been released yet, and the shot would not count. Real close. Real close. Everything from there looks good, except we just can't see the clock or the red light from that angle. All right, here's a look at regular speed. You see the uh, the shot clock. Now you couldn't really see it. It ran off too quickly. So Mike Mathis said too late. And the Chicago mm. Bulls with a That's crazy. protest. And... Uh, have to accept the fact that uh, they're going into a second overtime. He has not shot well down the stretch. Either has Jordan. It's great to hear all these coaches talk about. They're really concerned as Bird gets a little fade away. Beautiful. They're really concerned about the minutes. Little mini they step back fade away. Overtime number two. Bird. Mm. Yes. Larry Bird heating it up. It's Boston 120. Cartwright. With the Duncan under move and his shot 
was bottled up. Hartwright thought he was fouled. And the foul called. Look like he got a hand. But you see the disparity of the uh, free throws. Ankle. Minutes to 10 points. 6 to 40 to go. In the second over. Boy. Berg with the fake through the foul. Grant cannot deal with him. <laughs> I haven't even been paying attention. Like, who has Scotty been on this whole game? Because that's who I would have wanted on Bird. Yo, look at his footwork. Like, bro, wait, time out. Look at his footwork right there. Uh. That's like, and the fact that he made that is crazy. But even his footwork is like, concentration is so great. He honestly feels this thing is going in. He hangs with it, hangs with it. He's on the ground right now, saying, "I know this is going in." Shaw called for his fourth. He has 45 to go in the second overtime. Bird fires. Yes. Great shot. Grant just kind of shook his head and said, this guy's too much. And the cat of Larry. Larry. Dave Brown beat John Paxson off the pit. Hmm. 29. Chicago has one timeout remaining. Three-point attempt by Pippen. If not, he's going to try to get it to Pack. That boy, Scotty. And here's Jordan for three. Gets it out for Jordan. Again for three. Time running down. Five-tenths of a second remaining in the second overtime. And that will do it. Wow. That's a hell of a game. The Boston Celtics in double overtime at the feet of the Chicago Bulls. 135 to 132 in a wild one. They even up the season 35, series. 132. Two and two. The Bulls now 53 and 18. And Boston goes to 52 and 20. Today's been a genuine draft player of the game. Larry Bird with 34 points, 15 rebounds, and 8 assists on behalf of Larry Bird, NBC, a middle genuine draft. It's crazy. It's crazy, bro. Those numbers with that back, I mean, I, I, I really don't think you could put enough emphasis on that. The fact that this man is literally playing, like, again, I don't know if any of y'all have ever done a physical activity with a bad back. Um, I have. Of course, not like Larry Bird. But I was when I was a kid, I played a lot of basketball. Basketball is my favorite sport. Um, when I was a kid, I forgot what happened. I just went up, came down straight on my back. And it wasn't bad, but I, I just... I couldn't twitch. I couldn't, like, just doing something like that, like, hurt me. Like, I couldn't, like, uh, uh. I couldn't do none of that. It just hurt. Um, And the fact that he was doing that with damn near a broken back is, like, insane. 34, 15, and 8. Well, like, I think it's, what is it, two, three blocks, one steal? That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Um, and again, you could tell if you really look. Um, again, it's not not like Bird was like the most athletic at any point in his career, but you could see the stiffness. Like you can see it. All his movement is coming from his legs. Like his upper body is almost just it's just going along for the ride. His feet is doing all of the movement for him. Um, that's crazy. And then Jordan, Jordan just couldn't be denied, man. I mean, he just blew past everybody that was in front of him. 
Um, the mid range was there all night. I really don't even think I saw a three from Jordan. Maybe one or two, but it was all mid range and going to the basket, knocking down his free throws. Um, but yeah, nobody could stay in front of him. Didn't matter who it was. Um, Scotty had some great moments. I, I wish I, I I should matter of fact. Yeah, let me see. Let me see if I could find everybody's stat line. See what Scotty had. I would love to see what Paxson had too, because and just from what we saw, he had like four threes. So it's that twelve points right there. Uh, let's see, uh, Celtics versus Bulls. 1991, I should probably put March, what was this, March 31st? Yeah, March 31st, here we go. Let's see if we can find the stat line for everybody. Paxson had, Paxson had 28. Paxson was going crazy with four, uh, four assists. Shot up. <laughs> That man ain't miss a three. Shot five for five from three. 11 for 18 from the field. Yeah, Paxson went crazy. Scotty had 35. Why ain't nobody? That, yo, that's crazy. Scotty had 35, 10 and 9. Scotty almost had a triple double. <laughs> the rest of the team was non existent. I should say that Horace Grant definitely, he, 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 he was there. He definitely contributed, um, you know, with uh, 18 boards. Uh, he finished with uh, 15 and 18. But, yeah, the rest of the squad, um, Cartwright, five points. Uh, B.J. Armstrong had eight points. Uh, Craig Hodges, he went 0 for 3. Craig Hodges is a knockdown shooter. I guess he didn't get enough touches. I don't know. He played 13 minutes. Craig Hodges ain't have nothing? I remember Craig Hodges. Uh, he had a nice shot. Um, and, yeah, Bird. Bird held it down. D. Brown, you know, he had his 21 and 7 and uh two boards. Uh, of course, this was also, you know, towards the end for Mikhail. He had 10.6 uh six boards. Uh Reggie Lewis had 25, four blocks, three boards. Robert Parrish, fifteen and ten. Kevin Gant, yeah, it was a it was a lot more of a team effort from the Celtics. Uh, what else is a surprise? But just a little bit more spread out in in, in contribution. Where with the Bulls, I mean, it was Paxson, Scotty, and uh, Jordan. Um, but you could also throw in Horace Grant because fifteen and eighteen is nothing to scoff at. Um, but he definitely again, y'all really let me know. Do y'all think do y'all think Grant should have been on Bird? Honestly. Honestly. At any point I don't care at any point in his career. Unless unless Bird is paralyzed and can't take a step, I would not, and even still I wouldn't put Horace Grant on a uh, Bird. I just wouldn't. It just it, like that's that's just barbecue chicken to me. That I would never do that. Like, I definitely would have had Scotty on, on Bird. Um, again, I know D Brown was pro so again, I, I really wasn't paying attention to, to Scotty and who he was guarding, but I'm gonna assume he was probably on D Brown. I I, I honestly I, I would have had I would have had Scotty on Bird. I really would have. It's just not Horace Grant. Great defender, great big man, just not, not bird. That's just that's barbecue chicken, as we saw, as we saw, and everything that bird did, it was is it, you know he kind of still played the same. It's kind of how he always played, not necessarily 
fast, but, you know, quick. Quick on his feet. Quick turnaround jumpers. Uh, great passes, of course. But in regards to his scoring, just quick turnaround jumpers. Catch and shoot. Coming off the screen, and you know, the pick and rolls, the screens. Step, you know, step backs. That's too much for Horace Grant, man. That's too much for him. Uh, I definitely wouldn't have done that. But overall, great game. Double overtime between two between two of the greatest of all time. And listen, man, again, regardless of who you have better than who, um, I, I do believe that Bird and Magic were both, um, you know, Mr. Miyagi's for Jordan. I, I definitely do not think that Jordan is as great as he was, and in my opinion, the greatest of all time, if he didn't get his ass beat by, by Magic and Bird. I, I, I don't think that, you know, I think every great has to get their ass whooped to some capacity. And I know that's, that's saying, you know, it puts a lot of emphasis on, on Bird and Magic because they kind of hit the ground swinging. You know, Bird, uh, Magic winning the championship his rookie year. And them two just kind of going back and forth throughout the 80s. Um, they kind of just hit the ground running. But honestly, you you, you got to to be great, you got to get your ass kicked. And who better than Bird and Magic? And I think by the time the 90s rolled around, um, Jordan got his ass whooped enough. And it turned him into the greatest. Like, it, just because somebody beats you. I don't necessarily think um, as an individual player and talent that makes you better. Like, I, I, you know, again, it's, it's a bunch of different ways to measure it. But I tell you what, though, even on his last legs, Bird got in that ass and can't deny that. Can't deny this. This was a hell of a game, and Bird gave him everything he could. And that, I mean, that's that's amazing. I can't get over the fact he did this on on a bad back. I mean, that 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 in and of itself is like godlike. Like that's insane. That is not normal. Um. So the fact that he did it the way that he did it. In such an impressive and efficient way. That's special. I might want to watch this whole game. I wonder if this game, if the whole game is somewhere. I would love to watch it. I'm sure NBA Hardwood Classics on um, NBA TV probably will play it. Um, but yeah, I, I, I wouldn't mind watching that whole game. A double overtime game too. I wouldn't mind watching that. But, um, yeah, man, y'all let me know how y'all felt about this game. Let me know who you, th of course, who you think is better. I'm, I always love that, that conversation. Um, let me know whose performance you believe was more impressive. And, um, yeah, man, just let me know, you know, what else I need to check out from Bird or Jordan or anybody else in basketball. I'm, I'm definitely down to react to some more basketball and i'm thinking about watching some football as y'all know the football season has officially started um prayers up to aaron Rodgers. he just tore his achilles last night crazy craziness man but thinking about doing that as well but y'all let me know how y'all felt about it as always like comment subscribe i appreciate y'all for watching until next time peace